Hey, this is Baylor again, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a calculator with JavaScript. Um, this is what the calculator looks like when you're finished. You're going to have all these buttons you can push. Let's um, add one to this number, press the equal sign, and it totals your number. You can press clear, and etc. So, let's get started. Um, I'm in Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. I highly recommend it if you are a programmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a form, and I'm going to name this form Calculator. Uh, I'll change that to Calc, because I can't uh, talk and type at the same time very well. Um, then I'm going to put a table inside of this, and I'm going to give it a border of 4. That way to, yeah, kind of uh, make it spiffy, I guess. Um, I'm going to put a table row, a table column. And inside of this column, I'm going to put an input box. Its type is going to be text. Its name is going to be numbers. And its size will be 16. You can change that number if you want to to make it wider. I'm just going to leave it at 16. And now I'm going to make another table row. Well, now I'm going to, and I'm going to add a table column to this one as well. And here comes, it's kind of long, but I'll just make it short. We're going to do an input box. We're going to make this type equal a button. Its value is going to equal two spaces and one, two more spaces. And close that. And we're going to add an onClick attribute. So onClick equals document.calc, which is what we named this form dot numbers, which is what we named this input box, dot value plus equals one. And now the reason we'll add the plus equals, because if you only add an equal sign, it will replace everything in the text box with just one. So if you add plus equal, it's going to add one to whatever's already in the box. So we can test this real quick. I have to go back to my browser, just back to calculator. As you can see, we have an input box, number one. Click on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to repaste it later down. Well, three more times. Okay. Now this is going to be two. Two. Three. Three. Four. No, actually, this will be the plus sign. And for this, I'm just going to do space plus space. Just like that. So now let's go look at it real quick. Here we have it. We have 1, 2, 3, plus 3, 2, 1. Like that. So, um, yeah. Now, I'm just going to copy, or actually, I'm going to add a line break after this. And now I'm going to copy this and paste it one more time. So at this time, I'm going to replace this with 4, 5, 6, and 4, 5, 6, and this is going to be our minus sign. So I c we can view it again. Now we have one like that. And we'll add another one. This is going to be 7. 8, 9, this will be our divide sign, or actually I'll make that our multiply sign, just lowercase x, and 7, 8, 9, and a lowercase, or actually this time we're going to do an asterisk, like that, it's number 8, you hold down shift, press 8 to get that, um, so I'll reload the page again, so now we have our asterisk and all our new numbers, and the last time, this time we're going to do our clear, to clear it. And this is going to just be an equal sign. And we're going to do exactly what I said before. You replace it with an equal sign, and we leave that blank. It's going to clear everything on there. This is going to be our zero. And I'm going to replace that with zero. This will be our equal sign. And I'm just going to leave that for now, 
I'm just going to wipe out that part. And to add everything that we have in the box, you'll just do eval calc dot numbers dot value. That's all. And whatever is inside the numbers um, text box, whatever the value is, it's going to add it. And for the last one, it's going to be our divide sign. So you'll just add a divine symbol. Like that. And we're done. And I'm going to remove this last break. We're going to go view it. I'm going to clear it real quick. As you can see, if I left that a lowercase c, it would all be aligned correctly. But anyways, so we can do like 1 plus 3 equals. Okay. Um, oh. Also, on the equal sign, it's best to press, get rid of the plus sign so it'll replace everything with the value. Okay, so I'm going to clear. I'm going to do 1 plus 3 equals 4. And then clear that. 5 plus 6 minus 3, well, 5 plus 6 minus 3 equals 2, whoa, 5 plus 6 minus 3, that shouldn't give us, there we go, okay, I pressed the wrong button, okay, thanks for this, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope it helps, goodbye.